Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna be installing Mac OS inside of VMware Workstation. And I wanna walk you through the steps, step-by-step -step process from start to finish. So make sure you watch all the way to the end so you don't miss any steps, all right? So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe, like, and all that stuff. Comment if you have any questions. And if you're coming back, welcome back, folks. All right, so if you can see, we have our beautiful laptop right here and I'm remoted into it, and we have VMware Workstation, right? So if we double click on VMware Workstation, right? So if we create a new VM, right? We're gonna be creating Mac OS in this video. So we do typical, we can do install later. We don't have the Mac option here, okay? There, there's no option for Mac. So we can close this. What we have to do is we have to install a auto unlocker. Right, so what we can do is, is I went out to the internet, Googled it, and I found this, this project, Auto Unlocker 2.0. I downloaded it, so it's here, right? So what we can do is we can come here. Say, for example, you download the, let's just start it from scratch, right? Let's just delete this, right? So you have this auto unlocker that you downloaded, you right click, you can unzip it, extract all, yeah. Okay, so now we have this unlocker.exe. Make sure you have VMware Workstation closed, okay? So let's go ahead and right click, run in an admin, yes. And then we have this application. So we can go ahead and patch it, let it do its thing. And once this is done, we can go open up VMware Workstation, and once we open it up, we should see the option to install Mac, okay? And once we have that option, we can go continue with the process. And I'll show you where to download the, the, the ISO and all the other files that we need to be successful in this video, all right? <clears throat> so we'll just let this do its thing. It might take a few minutes, it might not. And uh, we're coming up on the end of the year. If you can see here, it's the 29th tonight. And I really, really hope everyone has an awesome new year. I'm not sure when I'm gonna be able to post this video because I you know, made a few videos prior to this and I'll be uploading them. But I definitely wanna you know, upload this you know, maybe tomorrow or Saturday. All right, so once it's done, I was just trying to yap. Click okay, we can X out of here now. Minimize this, minimize this, minimize this. Let's go open up VMware Workstation now. Okay. All right, so now let's go ahead and create a new typical install later. And we can see now we have the Mac option. See that? So now we can go back. And the next thing we, can, we need to do is we need to, download, uh, we need to download the ISO file, right? So the ISO file is about, I think 16 gigs or something like that. Yeah, 16 gigs. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty big file, All right? So download that, and you know, just you can just do a quick Google search on how to get that. And if I remember, I'll throw these links in the description as well. All right. So now that's the second step. So now let's go back. We can install it from the disk. Browse out. Let's go to my documents, Mac OS files. Here goes my big star uh, ISO. Next, now we can see that we can select Mac OS and it's gonna be 11 that, you know, what we have to select here. Hit next, we can just name it this. We can leave it in the, in the current location. It's fine for him, All right? So I wanna make it a 100 gigs, 100 gig drive. And I wanna make it a, I wanna store it as a single file just so it doesn't have any, you know, broken stuff later on. Let's go ahead and hit next and hit finished. Okay, so now we have this. We're gonna go ahead and make some modifications to this, okay? So let's go ahead and make some modifications. I wanna put eight gigs of memory, okay? So I wanna put, uh, what is, let's see, calculator. 
my math is pretty, uh, uh, let's see, hold on. I can just go here. Da -da -da. It's late. Okay. So, excuse me. Processors, I want to do four, two, and two. That should be perfectly fine for me. Everything else should look good. We want to make sure we can get on the internet, so NAT is fine. Okay. And now we can just, you know, power this bad boy up. Okay. So let's go back, power it up. Get rid of this because. And, and don't worry about installing VMware tools. We'll do all that stuff. Make sure everything is good to go. All right. So let this give, you know, we'll give this a moment to, to do its thing. And then what we have to do is format the disk. Once we have the disk formatted and everything like that, then we can go ahead and install, you know, the Mac OS on top of it. Okay. So we'll give this a moment. Let's give that a sec. So let's uh, just try to organize a few things. So I'll let this do its thing and then we'll resume shortly. All right, guys. So as you see here on my desktop, we have English and this is the language for me. So we can go ahead and hit next. Okay. All right. So here is where it can be a little tricky. So what we have to do is go to disk utility first, hit continue. And then we have our VM partition right here on the top. Right hand side, we can hit erase and we can just name this Mac OS and everything here is good and hit erase. Let that do its thing. It'll take a few minutes. All right, perfect. So now that's done. We can hit done here and that's that should be it. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. I think that should be that should be it. All right, perfect. All right, so now let's go ahead and exit the, you know, we can exit the uh, disk utilities. Now we can install it. Hit continue. And remind me later. Continue. Okay, English. I agree. This is the partition that we created and hit continue. So now this is probably going to take about 15 to 20 minutes. And I never installed this. This is the first time I'm doing this. I just, you know, it's pretty straightforward on how to do it. Just like installing any other operating system, you just have to follow the steps. But like I said, there is those little tedious things that we need to do, those preliminary uh, steps before we can get into installing the operating system because obviously it's not native to VMware Workstation to install Mac. All right, so hang tight. We'll resume once this is done. All right, guys, I hope you had some fun. So that was about 25 minutes. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty long time. So as you can see here, my region is going to be United States. Right, let's go to United States and hit continue. We can hit continue here. Not now. I'm going to do that now. And then continue. Whoops. What did I just do? Uh, no. Let's go back. I'm not transferring anything. Uh, so not now. I did not now. Too fast. And then I mess up. All right. So set up later because I don't know his information. We can skip this and then we can go to I agree. All right, so I agree. All right, so the name, I'm just gonna put uh, admin, same thing I set up and now I'm just gonna make a password. Uh, all right, perfect. So let's go ahead and hit continue here. Actually, let's see if we can change this, uh, this picture, but it doesn't matter. You can change that. Uh, I don't worry about that. So it is a little uh, tit tab, and then we can go ahead and continue. I can see, you know, his machine is not very, very new, but it's not too old, but you can see it's a little laggy. Uh, so, you know, what I'm probably gonna recommend him do is upgrade his RAM if he wants to run this Mac, because he only has 16 gigs of memory in the laptop. And we, uh, you know, we allocated eight gigs here. So, yeah. So go ahead and continue and then continue. Set up later. You don't have to worry about that now. We just want to get, uh, I don't want to enable Siri. No thanks. We'll hit continue. All right. We'll do dark mode because I like dark and I'm setting this up for him. So he's stuck with, stuck with that. What the hell is going on? All right. There we go. Yeah. He's definitely going to have to add some memory. So maybe we'll make a video of upgrading his laptop. We'll just make a whole series on this kid's laptop. We upgraded his Windows. 
So with Windows 11, we installed, well, I installed VMware Workstation on, you know, for him. And now we're installing a Mac on his laptop. All right, so now the last thing we need to do is install VMware tools. Because if we make this bigger, as you can see, it's really small, right? So let's go ahead and just install VMware tools. It's very simple. We can right click on the VM, go to settings, okay? We go to CD-ROM. Now we can just go browse out to the ISO, which you can download that. Actually, let's go, that's the step number three. And you just download, you know, I just Googled uh, VMware tools for Mac and I got to this, uh, this Google Drive. I downloaded it and so far so good. So now let's go ahead and attach this. Okay. Hit okay. Uh, the operating system is because. Okay. That's fine. All right. So did, I, did it work? Okay. Uh, what's going on? Dismiss this message. Inject. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's go here. Eject. This is why I'm not really a Mac user. This is why because it's a pain in the butt but this guy wants it, so told him I'll help him out. All right, so now let's go see if we can browse out to this. Give this a moment. All right, here we go. So we just connected that VMware tools. So now we can wait a few seconds and just double click on install VMware tools. So we'll give this a moment. And now we'll just hit continue and we'll give this a moment to do its thing. Continue, install. Oh man, my back. And we just sit back and Relax. No, I'm just kidding. So now we just have to put our fancy password that we set up. Okay, install the software. And then once this is installed, we should. All right, so if you get this little uh, system extension block, just go ahead and just go to open security preferences, open security preferences. And we just have to allow it. That's all we have to do. And so we just hit this little unlock box, uh, unlock lock right here and put out password and then we just hit allow okay and then we can restart right once you restart we can go ahead uh it's fine cancel okay uh why did it why did it fail all right let's go ahead and reboot and see if it actually worked because i don't know if it worked or not we'll see once we reboot if not we'll just give it another jingle all right, so we'll give this a moment. I guess this is why they say allocate more memory. We did allocate four procs or four cores. So, you know, when I Googled the, the recommendations, the, the core requirements, it said, <clears throat> excuse me, minimum of eight gigs of memory and 100 gig drive and four, pro, uh, four CPUs. So that's what I allocated. I can't really allocate too much because it's, you know, it's a, it's a laptop that only has 16 gigs of RAM. So, so we'll give this a few moments to reboot and see if it actually worked. And then we can test the internet, make sure the internet works. And then we'll have ourselves a Mac OS in VMware Workstation. All right, so we'll give this a moment. And I'm curious to see if we can actually like upgrade the OS, but, I don't know if I'll do that on this video. I don't want this video to be too long. Or we're just like, you know, I'll do it after. Depends. Let me see how long this video is already. We're almost at nine minutes on this. So we're probably, you know, probably almost, you know, 20 minutes right now. All right. So <laughs> I'm just going to leave those lips. He's going to probably freak out. So let me go ahead and log in. And it looks like it worked. Now if we can make this big. Yep, it worked. Sweet. Sweet. This is awesome. I'm definitely gonna have to upgrade the memory, but that's cool. So once we have this, let's, we can exit out of here. We can right click, eject. Now the last thing we can do is check the internet. Let's go to Safari. See if we can get out to the internet. See if we can try this bigger again. Get rid of this thing. All right, let's wait till Safari opens. Whenever it opens, that looks pretty cool. I've never been a crazy Mac person, but it, it looks pretty slick. I, I can't lie. You know, Mac does look slick. All right. So what I can do also is maybe I can do, uh, let's see, I'm not a Mac user. So let's do terminal and let's just 
Because this, I don't know what's going on with this. Uh, this thing is really small. All right, now it's opening. Let's just go to Google and pray we are going to the internet. So we are good there. So see if we can ping youtube.com. We are pinging. That's super small, but it's working. All right, let's see if I can make this. Uh, I don't even want to tinker with that. All right, the last thing I want to try to do is, is try to upgrade this. So what we can do, uh, let's go back. So once we open system preferences on this little gear looking thing, we go to software update. I do know a little bit about Mac, but I'm not a Mac expert. So I'd rather say I don't know anything than I do. So this is gonna check and see if there's any updates. If there is, we can try to upgrade this. How many gigs is that? 12 gigs? All right, I'm not gonna do anything right now, but I wanna give him the option. But this is how you install Mac on VMware Workstation. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, share, leave any comments below. And if you have any problems, let me know. But we did it. If you follow step by step for everything I just did, you should be golden. So until next time, folks, have a beautiful day. Happy New Year and be safe. Thank you.